Oh, it's been a bit since I've had an update video with Gloria or doing any kind of content. But as you can probably see, she's off the ground. And what do you see? No brake pads and rotors on at least the front. I had I have not had the chat time or ability to buy the rear brake kit. Uh, so this is gonna be awkward because there's other people here at the shop. So I'm my HD is getting me right now. Um, so I'm gonna show this real quick. We got the new rotors on and the brake the brake pads. Yeah, got the new rotors on the fronts, new brake pads on the fronts, and it's desperately needed. There's other things that need to be done still that I just don't have time for, and I still got to do the rears at some point, but I don't got the time or the money to do that. But before I show that stuff, when you're trying to get the brakes for these, if they're asking what vehicle it is, say the year of your Gloria, like mine is a '96 say the year of the Gloria, uh, 96, and then just say Infinity Q45. At least the front brakes, I can confirm already, the front brakes from the Q45 of the same year actually fit on there, the brake pads and the rotors fit. Um, I can't tell you on the calipers because those, uh, I could not get the calipers. They did not have those. Part numbers are right here if you have an Eastland Gloria Y33. Um, this is the, at least here in the states, it should be the number right there, 96253 RGS should be the right number, and for brake pads, it should be SM486, this is what I was able to get at my local O'Reilly's, which is just in front of my shop here, so at least got that, but had to, I mean had to replace the brakes, the front brakes, because uh, that's the pad right there. That is the pad. My mine were basically done for in the fronts, as you can see. It's the other one. The other one is on the floor over that way. But old rotors having a nice groove cut out on them. So I had to do them. This is the driver's side. It was the driver's side was really bad. If I can show it a little bit right here. If I can, I don't think I can, but the fronts were really bad on the insides. This was the front right here. As you can tell, it was, there's basically metal on metal. It was nothing that, there was no brakes at all. And this one was pretty much the same right here where it was just almost gone. But to show basically what you need to do, mostly you're going to need a, uh, if I can focus on it, a 14 and at least a 19 if again if I can get it to actually show up on your 19 millimeter on here first you're gonna basically use the uh, 14 to pull this one and this one right here which basically pulls off the top of the caliber off I'm not gonna be showing the full thing because I've already done everything and I'm exhausted from doing everything so I'm gonna just show where everything basically is and then after you basically take those off, this will come off. You'll be able to pry, take these brake pads out front and rear, if I can show it back there. But after this is off, there will be, if I can get the, that on right there. You should have, down on the ground a little bit, should be able to then access the bolt right here, which is the 19, and then the bolt up here as well also 19 you might want to have some um, WD-40 to break those bolts off because they are notoriously a pain in the asshole and then you'll be able to pull the entirety of the rotor off and either hang it up here or put it over there or take this and just junk it you're not gonna need it eventually at some point all right take that off and with this Usually just, if you have if you have somebody who knows how to do this or you have the right bolt, which I do have one over here. Right here, this is the bolt right there. Just shove it right inside, basically. Just screw it in, just drill it all the way until it pops off the old one, then you don't need to put that back in. And just 
pull it off, and you replace the rotor. It's kind of simple. It's just really tough. It's a uh, takes a lot of time, gets you dirty, but it it, it does what it needs to do. Again, it, it, it's just a quick update on on Gloria. I'm gonna get the tire back on in just a minute because it's just sitting right there. But it's not too bad. You can do that. It's pretty simple and easy. It's in, and you technically can get the parts for it. At least the fronts. I've not checked the rears just yet. Um, hopefully in the near future I can get information on the rears. I think I can still get them off. Um, the, get those rears. And like I said before, next should be the suspension. I, I need coilover so bad. And I need to get the steering rack. Um, I, I need to get the suspension done on this thing real bad. Because it's got so many problems. But yeah, that's the, that's this quick video right here. Just brakes are gonna be fixed, showing off how bad my brakes were, you know, and you know, giving the information that you'll need for pretty kind of the basic bitch definition of the brake pads, what you need, and how to do it real quick. You're gonna need strength, and you're gonna need the right tools, but it's you can do it. Also, when you're putting on. Um, when you're putting these back together, uh, these right here, pull these bolt these bolts out completely uh, on top and bottom, clean them up, and then apply some brake lubricant grease in between them just for smoother glide, and clean these as best as you can, as well as the rotors themselves, with some just some brakes cleaner. And you should have no problems at that point. Everything should be good, and everything should be good. So there's that. At least these are the fronts that I can show. Um, I would show the rears if I had the rears at this point in time. This was like 150 bucks, and that's the amount of money I can afford. So with that, thank you for watching. If you like, leave a like. If you dislike, leave a dislike. If you want to see more Gloria content, subscribe. Tell me in the comment what else to do with the car. You know, if you need any more help with anything. We do have how to remove the headlights. We do have how to remove the radio inside. And uh, how to remove the door panels on basically both the fronts and the rears on how to remove the door panels. That is, you know, done right there. That's probably going to be the same on the rear tires. So if anything's next, just let me know and, you know, I'll try to get to doing any more kind of videos of Gloria. So... Uh, thank you, and you know, goodbye.